I served the messenger, may peace be upon him, for 10 years. That means at the time he uttered these words, he had served the messenger for 10 years. He says, فَمَا قَالَ لِيَ أُفٍ قَطُّ وَمَا قَالَ لِشَيْءٍ صَنَعْتُهُ لِمَا صَنَعْتَهُ Subhanallah. He says, Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never ever in 10 years, myself being a servant of his, did he once make a statement that was derogatory to me or even that which gave the slightest feeling of his disapproval of what I have done. He did not say oof and oof is an Arabic term for, for example, a frown with a sound. What we would do very readily to our parents, yet the Quran says, Allah says regarding your parents and mine, they gain old age when they get to the stage. Be careful, never ever utter to either one of them the term oof. If I could say it in the English language, it would probably be. Ah. That's the term. Ah. Sometimes the T-S-E sound that comes out of our mouths. Can I try it again? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. So the messenger did not say that or anywhere near that to Anas ibn Malik in 10 years. And he goes further and says he never ever told me regarding something I did. Why did you do this? He corrected it himself with a smile. And subhanallah, there are so many examples. Why I'm making mention of this is look, his character is recorded. The blink of his eyelid is recorded. The frowning of his eyebrow is recorded. Subhanallah. The way he walked is recorded. He says the same Anas ibn Malik radiallahu an, he says, I have never felt or touched any silk or anything soft in terms of material softer than the hands of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I have never ever smelt a scent, no musk, no amber, more blessed in fragrance or more attractive in fragrance than the sweat of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. La ilaha illallah. And then how did it get from Anas bin Malik to me? This is just an example of one narration, one hadith. But there is the same for every single narration. Every single narration has a chain of narrators. The lives of every single narrator discussed in the greatest possible depth with the comments of those whom they lived with recorded very well and detailed in thousands of volumes that you will find even in this university to a certain extent. And nowadays, like I say, you just need a little tablet or you need, for example, I don't mean a pill. You know, I'm surprised iPhone, you know, they've come up with tablets. They haven't yet said we've come up with a pill. I wonder why. Maybe the women would get excited. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. My brothers and sisters, you can pick that tablet up, you can pick up your devices and you can search and you will find the statements. You will find the entire chain of narrators and you will find where people have tried to lie, but they are caught. How are they caught? Because the man says, I heard from so and so. Hang on, he died before you were born. How could you have heard from him? Did his soul come and chat with you? If that's the case, keep it that way. We won't accept that statement from you. Or they say, I heard from so and so, but hang on, you lived in Baghdad and you've never shifted out. And he lived in Damascus and he did not shift out. How you met, we have an issue with, so therefore we will discount your statement. Amazing. Do you know anyone's life that is discussed in that detail? from any one of the followers of any other faith. This is what distinguishes Islam. So now they find fault. There are people from amongst us who are conned into believing that the Sunnah means nothing. 
we only believe in the Quran and there is nothing remaining. So we will show you a narration of the prophecies of the same messenger saying that I warn you about people who will come later on. They will hold the Quran and they will say this is the only revelation and this is enough. And they will discard and throw away the entire lifestyle that I have led. Subhanallah. The Quran itself leads you to the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah says, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَّحِيمٌ Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you claim to love Allah, then follow me. How do you follow him? Allah says, follow me, meaning follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah will love you and he will forgive your sins for indeed he is most forgiving, most merciful. Look at what Allah says thereafter. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهِ لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرَ وَذَكَرَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا Indeed, there is a beautiful example to be emulated in the entire life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His lifestyle, the do's and don'ts, his utterances, whatever he did, whatever he uttered, whatever he instructed, whatever he prohibited. Allah says, those who believe in Allah, looking forward to the last day, the meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for them, there is definitely a very, very blessed example to be emulated and to be followed. Subhanallah. And this is why Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam being the best of humankind, the best of creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made him say things and do things, very few things. Whereby he was then admonished by Allah in the Quran. Listen to this carefully as to why he did what he did. Because part of a perfect example would be to show me and you how to react to correction even if we feel we are perfect. We are not. He was. Subhanallah. Part of being a perfect example is to show how to react to correction. Subhanallah. When corrected, no matter how intelligent you might be, when your children have watched you being corrected by someone and acknowledging it and changing your life because of that they will change their lives when they are corrected as well because they have seen you as a role model as an automated role model from Allah Allah has made you an automatic role model for your children it's up to you to develop that or to discard it a parent is a role model automatically for the child but it's up to them to develop that or to discard it so this is why when you have been corrected and you've responded in the correct way like Allah says to him why did you frown Allahu Akbar beautiful verses of the Quran Allah says regarding the frowning of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where there was a blind man in front of him Abdullah ibn Umm Maktoum. One might say why did that happen? Wasn't he perfect? Well it's part of perfection isn't it? Part of perfection because he was sent as a lesson for me and you as an example for me and you as a guide for me and you it would be wrong for us to have said how should I react to correction when I don't know from the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who is the perfect example, how to react to it. So Allah says, here's the example. We will give you more than one example. Subhanallah. Amazing. That is the life distinguished completely. Another very beautiful point from the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which we can consider point number three. The messenger never ever called never ever called for anyone to worship him never ever not once 
مثلكم يوحى 